this uh, the mini camp, excuse me. <coughs> well, the mini camps uh, with, with more of a training camp environment, a longer practice, uh, but yet a practice format that we're used to see in the past periods when we're going out. I thought that he would be for us today. I think it may have surprised us just a little bit. I cut practice a little bit shorter than normal. Um, the guys were working very hard in the last period, and I want to make sure they left it all out there. Um, also for their safety. Um, but I think uh, at the end of the day, they get a sense for the condition level now. Is, uh, they're going to have a month or five weeks off before we start. And it'll give them an idea where they have to be when we, when we move out of here and, and into the training camp. So um, that's where we're kind of heading these last the next two days is continue to create this training camp environment, this student practice, and to continue to compete against each other. Uh, what you haven't seen is we haven't flowed the competition that's gone on over the last month. We haven't been here every day. There's been days where the defense has won. There's been days where the offense has won. Uh, we call it a tie today uh, because the media is still called a tie. Uh, uh, but at the end of the day, there's uh, very good cooperative practice. And we're the guys that I can see. We've got to pick up their thing, some things. Uh, but overall, guys are standing up and uh, we're keeping people off the ground. And that's, that's uh, incredible. Can you talk about the decisions to let go game again? Yeah, I mean, it's like every decision we, we make here, and they're always going to be, you know, mindful and in good faith and in the best interest of football team. All we want to do is put a championship football team on the field, and uh, that's the direction we spent time trying to have a good plan for this as, as we move forward. And we felt, uh, uh, without a doubt, it was in the best interest of our team and moving us in the right direction to, uh, you know, build a team that's going to compete for a championship. Did he hurt himself by not being good for the OK? No decision is, is based on, on on anything other than best decisions of the team. They're, they're mindful. They're in good faith. Um, we're not making decisions based on being belligerent or having animosity. That's not our best interest of the team. It's our best interest is gathering information, having a good plan, and moving forward with the players. And I believe we have. But had Evan not been arrested, would he still be here? Yeah, you know, I'm going to go back again. You know, it's, it's all about what's best for our football team on multiple levels. And, uh, uh, you know, we feel we made a, made, made a very good decision really, uh, in the direction of a fullback and to give us wide special teams and, and give us a little more flexibility so the things we're going to be doing. How pleased with, <laughs> please with the progress in the offense, especially with Jake? You know, we offense. did a lot today. I mean, we, we, gave, we put a lot. We, we had a mid-season game plan out there. Today. There was a lot of diversity to what we're doing. Um, we think we're headed in the right direction with some of the things that we're doing. You know, we're facing a defense that's a little bit unique one that we don't face. We've been we've got a little bit of a couple of teams. Um, so we're trying to uh, create environments where we can take advantage of what our team does. Um, and we're giving, putting more on this play is handling very well. The quarterbacks are, you know, even without Elshon, you know, having a little tweak today. And, uh, and Brandon's still being somewhat limited. You know, the guys that were in there did a pretty good job of allowing us to do a diverse group of plays in a number of different situations. And, and I was pleased with that. Is Jay comfortable with the terminology and the concept? Is well, he's, he's very right bright. I think you know, the meetings have gone very smoothly. There's, uh, you know, there's an intelligent interchange between himself, Matt, myself, and the other quarterbacks. I, I love our meeting room. Um, we're getting a lot done quickly. Um, the guys uh, understand the game, and you know, Jay's been in so many different offenses uh, recently. And I, I'm just totally <laughs> impressed at how he's handled uh, a little bit new language. Uh, uh, a little bit of a new way of looking at things. And there's a lot of different ways to do things. Uh, this is a little bit different, uh, but for him, I think he's handled extremely well. I know it's only the OTA, the first day of mini camp coach, but you've worked with some great quarterbacks over the course of this year. Can you see Cutler being up there with those guys after he nails that down the terminology in the offense that you preach? Well, I think of most of the quarterbacks I've been just lucky to work with. I think I'm really lucky to be working with Jay. I mean, he's putting out every day. He's, uh, his, his work ethic is, is uh, unparalleled, as good as anybody I've ever been around. His detail in the offense is as good as anybody I've been around. He's doing all the right things. He's working at his, his craft. And it's not easy when you're when you're starting over one more time. I'm, I applaud him. Um, I think the team feels that he gets in the huddle. He's in control. He knows the plays. He has our other quarterbacks have done as well. Um, so um, at this stage, um, you know, as I said, I think he's doing everything he can to, to get to where he wants to go and we need to be. Mark, did Elshon tweak himself today, or was that something? No, he, that was he ran a goal. He <laughs> ran a goal route the other day and uh, made a great, great play um, out there, and just just tweaked a little bit. And, and we're going to just be as cautious as we can. We're trying to get out of here with every player, you know, being healthy, keeping our team as safe as we can amidst the competition that we see going on out there.